hello it's Ashley here from Paper and Twine welcome to some coffee shop drivel um, it's been a funny old day um, it was grey when we woke up this morning and um, I went out for a walk about 10 o'clock walked down to our Tesco's which is about 20 minute walk 15 20 minute walk um, and had a wander around the shops um, went to Cafe Nero for a drink Barry was a bit upset with me because I had um, a large Americano at Cafe Nero and a lemon Sicilian lemon curd muffin sat outside um, although it was cloudy it was very mild I had a walk around the shops had a look in places like Fat Face and uh, Next Although, do you know, the older I get, the less interested I am in looking in the shops. Um, I walked in next and walked out again, really. Um, I did quite like what I saw in Fat Face, but I'm too too fat. <laughs> too fat for Fat Face. Um, too fat at the moment for the things that I liked. They're going to accentuate my belly. There was a top I quite liked, uh, but they didn't have it in my size. I suppose I could order it online. This is boring, isn't it? Um, so give Barry your order. I've got lots to get through today. Oh, Blue's just jumped up on the window, so she's fighting the life out of me then. Um, I've got um, a hot chocolate because although I walked, when I came back, I was really hot because um, walking down to our Tesco's and where our two shopping retail parks are, um, it's downhill, but of course, on the way back it's all uphill so I walked I walked quite fast up the hill to get it out of the way and when I got in I was exhausted and actually I had taken a little measurement oh look here's blue <laughs> um got her a treat and sit there look look it's there look oh she's done sometimes you can't give her you can't give give her treats let's move these out of the way it's there there you go oh she liked that i don't give her treats very often because um everybody says she's fat no that's my hot chocolate you won't like that yeah so anyway as i was saying um i was quite hot when i got back and i, I went upstairs we've got um a fan in our bedroom and i put it on full blast and i just stood in front of it to cool down um add lots of water and now I've gone a bit chilled. So I thought I'd have a hot chocolate. She wants another treat now. You're a menace. Yes, you are. You're a menace. Yes. Oh, dear. What can you smell there? But anyway, on our walk, I'm going to have to move you now, Blue. Oh, no, she's not going. <laughs> um, on our walk, I walked 13,360 steps. So I was quite pleased with that. Um, I've done over 16,000 altogether. Um, yeah, and I enjoyed the walk and I noticed some really nice things. And in fact, one of the things I noticed was some wild sweet peas. Sweet peas are one of my favourite flowers. Uh, but I saw these wild ones. So I'll just insert a photo of that for you now. The cat's not very happy with me. I've put her treats away and she's sulking now. Um, yeah, so what can I talk about now? I hope you've all given Barry your order. Um, bit of an update on Barry. Now I had a complaint from the virtual coffee shop last week. One of my lovely subscribers, I think it was Cassie, had ordered a rum and coke and she commented that she thought the rum was watered down. So I've had a little word with Barry. It seems he's graduated from the red wine, which we do use in cooking quite a lot, um, to pilfering the spirits. So, oh, here she is again. <laughs> Blue, you're right in the way. You're right in the way. <laughs> she's, she, I am going to put you on the floor. There you go. <laughs> I don't know. Um, two shots of blue for the price I wanted, eh? Um, 
yeah so barry i had to have a word with him and i said look just be honest with me have you been pilfering the room and he said well he'd given belinda um he'd made a pina colada his white room he'd made a pina colada and um didn't want to own up that he'd given it to belinda rather than sell it to her and he thought that he might notice that the the room had gone down and in fact he said he gave her three pina coladas so that's quite a lot of room so he'd added water didn't think that anybody would notice and i said well look you're going to get your li my license taken off me if you keep doing that we'll have the trading standards people round we can't sell alcohol to people if it's not the strength that it's supposed to be so um he's sulking a little bit what with me having an americano in cafe nero this morning um and and a muffin um and telling him off about the room um yeah he's he's a bit quiet so yeah i hope he's looked after you all right um food wise um, on the lunchtime rush today we've got some salmon we've got salmon that's been baked in the oven salmon fillet and it's been marinated in a little bit of honey soy ginger and a little bit of chili um, and i've served that with just some plain rocket so nice and healthy low fat for you vegetarians i've got a baked brie if you like that if you don't like that i'm sorry i can't offer you any food today well i suppose you could have a cheese sandwich uh, but it's not very interesting is it what else can i tell you um oh yeah so when i went out i've bought a few bits and pieces um from the range and hobbycraft uh, with some birthday money so um i think it's probably best if i show you that top down so um i'll do that now so i popped to hobbycraft first and um i know it is last month's issue but um i bought simply cards and paper craft um i'm not really bothered about the magazine but um i liked these rubber stamps here these um foliage stamps i think they'd be very useful they're chloe's creative card stamps by chloe that's a nice idea isn't it um and this leaf stencil um <clears throat> i've got an idea for this leaf stencil which i'll share with you um in another video or oh, i'll show you the um the results in another video and then this is quite sweet as well again you've got little foliage stamps another butterfly i mean i must have hundreds of butterflies and flowers that's quite sweet the gerbera yeah so that was 6.99 as i say i'm not really bothered about the magazine um i'll have a quick flick through obviously and it's good for adverts as well isn't it to look at other craft suppliers um yeah so that was that that was 6.99 and then um it was an impulse purchase really i saw these tags there's 12 little wooden tags for one pound 75 and i thought they would be quite um quite useful for all kinds of things um you know you can embellish those as you see fit and then for £2.25, I bought these um, A5 cello card bags. I hadn't got any this size and I have got some A5 cards that I need to use up that I got from Craft Label. I had a really good um, deal on 50 A5 white cards by Dove Crafts. <coughs> and um, yeah, I'll be putting some of those on my Etsy store. So um, I need the cello bags and they were 2 25 I could probably have got them cheaper elsewhere, uh, certainly online. But whenever I've looked in the range or um, where else does cello bags, the works, they just haven't had that size. So that was from Hobbycraft. And then I'd had my coffee in Cafe Nero and drunk some water. And by the time I'd been in Hobby, Hobbycraft, I was desperate for a wee. And I thought, where can I go for a wee? Well, our range has got a cafe upstairs and there's a loo there. So I thought, I'll walk there and go to the loo. And um, yeah, so I'll show you what I bought there. So the first thing um, is this. 
art studio, wooden box of letters, numbers and symbols. Um, I haven't bought it for what's inside, although obviously that's useful. I've bought it for this because I've got an idea of what I can do to upcycle this wooden tray. Um, and it wasn't expensive. I mean, there's little birds. I've got an idea for what I want to do with that little bird. Oh, no, this, this little dragonfly is really cute. And if you've got those Spectrum Noir sparkle pens, they work really well on these kind of thin wood surfaces. Um, and you've got these little flowers. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm pleased with that. We've got all the numbers. We've got the letters. Um, how much was that? Do, 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 do. I can't see. Oh, it was two ninety nine, which I didn't think was bad. Two ninety nine. Let's just cross that out, so I know I've read it, and it'll be easy to tell you the prices of the other things. I've just seen the price of one thing, and if I'd known it was that much, I might not have bought it. Um, that's that. We'll put that out of the way. I've got lots of tidying up to do when I get off here. The next thing I bought was I bought four of these gorgeous girl stickers. Now, um, a lot of this will be happy mail, I think, um, come Christmas time. But um, I've bought it for these numbers. And I know exactly what I'm going to do with these numbers. And I'm not going to share it yet. But um, yeah, I have some projects in mind. Um, I'll be sharing one of them in July uh, because I'm doing Christmas in July and I need 24 numbers. So that's why I've bought four um, and the others. They're not my cup of tea really. They're very cute and I do like Gorgeous Girl. Um, so they'll be going in Happy Mail and you know you get three lots of stickers in each one so that's at least... Um, eight pieces of happy mail there so they were 170 no 157 each they were so let me cross that off do, 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 do. yeah they were 157 which i didn't think was too bad you know you're paying for um a named thing aren't you um it's not from um the range but i did go in fat face and i've started my christmas shopping so christmas shopping stocking shopping um i bought the i saw these and uh, i always buy my kids a pair of fat face socks in their christmas stocking and you can usually get them three for two which is perfect for me as i've got three kids and uh, we call molly molly moo so if i ever see anything with a cow on it i get it for her so i thought i've got to get those socks while i see them because i'm not going to get them again and these are all um responsibly sourced co cotton apparently they're six pounds a pair which i wouldn't pay for one but three for two they're four pounds a pair and they are good quality i mean i usually buy mr paper and twine a pair for his stocking as well and he's got some that are you know three or four years old that are still going strong um so you get what you pay for don't you um so we've got those got this for harry with the rhino and the seagulls on and this one for ella with a little bit of fluff around the sheep because they haven't got any elephant ones they were just in the bag so i've got those out of the way so we can get some more crafting goodies now i saw these and i could probably have made my own uh, these but they were only 199 and for the faff of making them myself i didn't think 199 was too too much to pay now um, when my giveaway challenge is over I'm going to make like a card catalogue box for my ATCs and put them in month order so that I can see when people's birthdays are and send happy mail if I'm organised enough and I thought these would be really good to stick at the top of the cards that divide each month and I can see at a glance uh, what the months are and they're lovely pastel colours and I'm sure I've got paper in my stash that um you know i can make a lovely coordinating box with so that's a project that i'll be making in the future when my giveaway challenge is over um i saw these 
and um, these were a pound which again I didn't think was too bad six um, fairy pegs and again you could colour colour them in with your alcohol markers or um, spectrum noir sparkle pens um, you could um, put glue on the wings and some glitter um, yeah so those are going to be useful I think if I was going to use alcohol markers I might put a thin coat of white acrylic on first just to cover it but for a pound six for a pound what does that work out at um oof, it's less than 20 pence isn't it less than 20 pence a peg um now these I saw and um, I'm going to be using on a project very soon these were vine leaf actually these are a little bit more expensive than I thought the thing about our range our branch of the range and I must go and visit some other ones is they don't update their prices so you know where things are hung on those little peg things um there's no price tag so you don't know how much they are unless you get an assistant to come and scan it for you so i probably wouldn't have bought those if i'd known they were two pounds fifty but there are 40 pieces in there so um if there were 10 that would be 25p wouldn't it so a quarter of 25p 12 and a half six and a quarter pence each yeah i suppose it's all right isn't it um these little charms i'm always blown away when um people have lovely little charms on their atcs and things and this is charm pack flowers and it was two pounds and you get 21 pieces so that's just under 10 pence a charm isn't it and we've got all these flowers they've all got little holes on so you can hang them from a bulb pin or thread twine through them um yeah so those are coming handy i like that little dinky one so that's those and then i've got tools which is also two pounds that's cute little tiny ruler with inches and centimeters it's not to scale by any means got three of those spanners and again these have got little holes on so you can do all sorts with them pliers cutters so good for male themed cards nearly at the end okay so i have got loads of enamel dots but i could not resist the dinkiness of these they're three millimeter dots lovely pastel colors for summer with a little bit of bright pink there 240 pieces they were um 249 which i didn't think was bad at all um now this uh, I might not have bought if I'd known it was 5 99 but I do think it'll come in so it's like the metal charms that I've showed you but they're all letters and there are 200 pieces in there so um, you've got an ampersand in there as well so I'm sure that they will be very useful but I probably would have liked to have only paid four pounds for those I think and then the final thing is this uh, cord antique white it was one pound 25 and i'm just seeing how many meters are on here 10 meters for one pound 25 that's all right isn't it and it's two millimeter um and i think that'll come in very handy for all kinds of things um, I haven't got anything quite like this in my ribbon or cord stash so that is my haul so let me know in the comments what you think about uh, my little craft haul um, I should perhaps be spending my birthday money on other things but um, 
crafting things make me happy and I haven't spent a lot of money so um yeah when I came back from the shops there was some happy mail waiting for me and uh, the first one has come all the way from Canada and it is from um a lovely subscriber the gorgeous Dawn Gardner who watches every single video without fail bless her and always comments she's such a supporter and I really really value her um, and of course she won my very first giveaway my 50 subscriber giveaway um, and this is what she sent me I've taken it out of the box because um, it had got both of our addresses on it um, but it's this gorgeous from Blissey 100% pure mulberry silk and I think it's a pillowcase that, that's a nice box isn't it with a little pull tab like that blues back sitting right in the way or maybe oh 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 my word oh it's more than a pillowcase so we've got this gorgeous a hundred percent silk pillowcase Oh, and these are supposed to be really good for your skin and um, when you wake up you're not supposed to have um, what do you call it you know crease lines in your face that is oh it's so soft now Dawn I might have a problem here because I've got extra large pillows on my bed and this might not fit if that is the case would you mind awfully if i let ella have it because she's got very bad eczema and it might be beneficial for her skin if it doesn't fit my pillows but we'll certainly have a go at making it fit but look at that it's got a zip so that um i can't undo it and i don't want to force it is it open already so that um, your pillow won't come out. That is lovely. That is so generous of you, Dawn. Thank you very much. I'm going to struggle to fold that up as nicely in the box. And I'm going to repurpose the box for something. I know exactly what I'm going to do with it, actually. Um, yeah, I'm not going to say now. Oh, there's a little note in here. I'm glad I looked at that. Oh, bless. So it's taken a long time to get here. This was written on May the 4th. May the 4th, Star Wars Day. And I think it was posted on May the 5th, looking at the uh, postage label. And Dawn was very worried that it, it got lost in the post. But it has come from Canada. And I think, you know, um, things do take time to come from Canada. Um, the cat's very interested in, in everything. Let's just pop that there. Oh, pop that there. I'm going to look after that really well because... Cat, you're right in the way again. Look. Yes, we know people love you. Yes, people do love you, but they love me as well. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, Dawn's note says, Dear Ashley, this is just a small gift box to show you that you're very appreciated over here. Oh. I hope you like your little presents and enjoy them even half as much as I enjoy all the effort and love that you put in to all of your videos. Oh, lots of love from here, Dawn Gardener. And look, there's a cute little mouse. There's a mouse. There's a mouse. There's a cute little mouse. Isn't that lovely? Oh, and I'm going to keep the note. I treasure all my notes. I'm just going to pop it in this notebook for now. And then... Um, we've got this that is wrapped up in tissue paper and um, black ribbon. Oh my word. Oh Dawn, you've been a very, very naughty lady. Tell her Blue, tell her. She's been a very naughty lady. A long time ago she asked me what my favourite perfume was and I think I did mention it on... Um, a video one of my first videos and I said it was Jo Malone nectar in blossom and honey and she's got me a bottle of that which is lovely because the one my husband bought me last year 
I've probably got about that much left in the bottle and I just save it for special occasions. So that is really, oh Dawn, you have been amazingly generous. Thank you so much. I'm really, really touched. And we've got this little packet here as well. I don't even think, can you get Jo Malone stuff in Canada? I don't know. This is a wood sage and sea salt. Might have to use the scissors. Going in with the scissors. Blue sitting on a part of the window, so she doesn't normally sit. But oh, that's rolled on the floor under my desk. It was a little tester. Um, and there's this body wood sage and sea salt body and hand wash. Lovely. I shall use that in the shower. That is so good. I'm, I'm really touched. I'm, I'm just really, really blown away. I cannot tell you. And then I had another piece of happy mail that I haven't opened yet. But um, the lovely Andrea Turner asked me if I would do a pocket letter swap with her. And I said, yes, of course I would. I am a bit busy. But yes, of course I would. And um, I think what's arrived is my pocket letter from her. And she only posted it yesterday it's got her name on the address so um i think that is um what is from her but i'm going to do a separate video on that when i've made my pocket letter i'll show you what i've made for her she knows i haven't made mine yet i've got an idea um and i'll show hers as part of that video if that's all right andrea okay um talking of showing things i'm just going to show you um a birthday card that my dad gave me i said it was really funny and um i've had two well i've had lots of nice cards but i've had two that are quite funny this one oh my christ it's your birthday and for any um american or international viewers that is pamela from gavin and stacy she's the mum and that is just like um one of her expressions and the actress that plays her is could you see it again the actress the act <laughs> the actress that plays her is um, a brilliant brilliant talent talented actress called Alison Steadman so there's that one oh my Christ it's your birthday and that was off my sister-in-law and husband and family and then this is what my dad sent me I'll I'll hide the punchline I don't know whether you, whether you can see um so it says she was a bit ashamed at the state of her recycling bin and then the punchline one of the bottles still has some gin in it <laughs> not in my recycling bin definitely not definitely not um so oh yes a while ago i did a hidden giveaway and i said if you commented on what your favorite beatrix potter character was um i'd send you this book and i read the pricey of the book on that particular video it was june the 8th um i think it's a happy mail one uh, perhaps i'll link it in the description box um so i'm going to draw for that now and i've just got a random number generator so i'm just going to bring you down for that okay so i had 13 people enter my hidden giveaway um you had to comment on your favorite beatrix potter character to be in with a chance of winning the book so one is angie beaumont two and lane three slice of life mindy four margaret flaxman five crafty hedgehog 52 six dawn gardener seven christine's cards and things eight claire cartwright nine lorna callahan 10 beth allen 11 cassie sads 12 zimchick 66 13 from my house to you and i've put 14 in there no one because i think um i don't want an unlucky number so um i've just put up um a fun themed number generator we'll see if this works let's just try um the cake one as we're in a coffee shop let's see if it works i hope it works okay let's put in 
14 and see if it will generate. And the winner is number two, who is Anne Lane. So, um, Anne, I think I've got your address, but if not, can you just email me? I'll put my email in the description box and I'll get that in the post to you. If you don't want it, let me know and I'll draw again. Okay, well done. So well done to the winner there. I'll do another hidden giveaway soon. Um, in fact, actually, I am going to do a giveaway tomorrow and Sunday. So my planned schedule is um, tomorrow. I've had some people say, would I do a tutorial for the box card that I made for my mum? There are lots of tutorials on um, YouTube, but this is this is what I'm talking about. Um, so, yeah, and I'm going to use some freebies that I got with Crafts Beautiful magazine. I think uh, to fit in with a summer theme um, and the beauty of this card you can make it any dimension you want and somewhere I don't know where it is I have got a really tiddly tiddly one I'll try and find that to show on my tutorial tomorrow but uh, the beauty of this is it is dead easy to make and you can use scraps um, to make to decorate your card um, you do need some die cut elements or um, fussy cut stamped images if you're that way inclined or uh, you know images that are on card but it folds flat for postage so um i'll show you how to make that tomorrow and um then on sunday um i'm part of um kathy's favorite things and life with patty um their summer collab it is uh, just a one-off this time uh, just this Sunday that could be going live at 2 p.m. Uh, GMT I think it's 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time um, and the theme is summer and you can make as many projects as you want um, so the card I'm making tomorrow is going to be one of the projects that I share but if you want to see what else I do see how I alter this this is the bird MDF shape that uh, Tracy Susan gifted me as part of her uh, entry to my challenge and I've just gone ahead and given one coat of white acrylic um, it's quite a high viscosity white acrylic uh, and I'll be embellishing this so if you want to see what this turns into come back Sunday and if you want to see what this turns into come back Sunday and we haven't even talked about the fact I've got Wilma out of her box what do we think about Wilma I don't think I'd wear her in public because um she only just covers the back of my own hair and I think it would look weird if the back of my neck showed my hair peeking through so uh, yeah I think to camera for you guys this way it's fine but um, yeah, I don't think I'd be wearing her out in public. Well, I've enjoyed our coffee shop drivel today. I hope you have. Please share amongst your friends. I'd love it um, if you did and we could get more people in our coffee shop. I've got a few more comfy sofas coming and I've got lovely outside seating for you. So come back soon. Thanks very much for watching now. Bye.